Welcome back to another Lit for Brains video. This one is on 12 Roman words everybody should know, inspired by Plutarch's Life of Caesar. So, the first we have citizen class, and the citizen classes are divided into patrician. Patrician class are the noble families of Roman. If you luck out by birth, well, that's the only way you can get into the patrician class. Second class is the plebeian class, the common plebs, if you've heard before. the This is everybody else. Everyone who didn't luck out by birth is a common citizen. Oh, well. Now we've got the government positions. The first is consul, our third vocabulary word, and this is equivalent to the president or the prime minister of Rome. In modern terms, there were two consuls, and they had to agree with each other before they made a decision. And they were re-elected every single year, unlike uh, the American system, every four years. Every year, new consuls. Right beneath the consul are the praetors. This could be compared to the senators, important government magistrates, and they could command armies and such. From the word prior, pre, which means to go before, so they're very important. Next, we have the Aedile, and the Aedile was responsible for grains, games, and buildings. You had to provide the city with grain. That was a very prominent role. You had to make sure that all the buildings were in tip-top shape, and you entertained the citizens with gladiatorial games and such. Next, we have the Quester, which is, isn't it a great word? Doesn't that word look amazing? But this word is about a treasurer. It's... Somebody who is responsible for some kind of financial affair in Rome. The financial officer, like a loan officer. And then we have Tribune, and these are the people who represent the plebeians in the council. Because you can't have just patricians talking amongst themselves. Their voices are going to... The voices of the 1% are going to overwhelm the voice of the majority, the 99%, and that's why you have the Tribune. I volunteer as Tribune. Sounds like something from the Hunger Games. Number eight, Lictor. And a Lictor, simply put, is a bodyguard. Pontifex Maximus, great word. This is the chief religious officer in Rome. And he did a lot of things, like made the calendar. Julius Caesar did a lot to create the Julian calendar. It was quite accurate. And also responsible for keeping the peace with the gods, offering sacrifices and such. Julius Caesar was this for the last 19 years of his career, of his life, rather. He was Pontifex Maximus even while he was out conquering Gaul. Because, strangely enough, you could hold a religious, you could hold a military command while you were chief religious officer of Rome paradoxical. Now we've got the final three words of ge geography. Number 10 is Gaul. Gaul, of course, which Rome conquered, was a region of Western Europe. Modern day France, Belgium, Switzerland, Luxembourg, some Germany, some Netherlands. Big place. Appian Way. This was a really important route. In Rome, it went from Rome to southeast Italy, a place called Brundisium, modern-day Brindisi. And finally, the River Rubicon. And this was the river that separated a part of Gaul from Italy, from Rome proper. And it was illegal to cross this river if you were in command of an army. If you did not disband your army before crossing the river, you were a treason. You are committing an act of treason to the Roman state. And this is going to be important as we study the life of Caesar. Visit liveforbrains.com for more. Thumbs up. Take care.